Taylor's College Toastmasters Club. How are you all doing? Oh, great. Well, today I'm just going to tell you a bit about my Chinese New Year holiday. Last week, I had a very, very busy Chinese New Year. I went visiting to a relative's house, friend's house, and I even hosted an open house in my own place. When I finally had a day off, you know what I did? I slept till 3 p.m. Later on in the evening, which was about four hours after I woke up, I went out to an Italian restaurant with my friends and also my family. We went there and we had such a wonderful night. We shared lovely conversations about our life, our passion, our past and our lovely experiences all throughout our lifetime. Besides that, we also shared good food. We were sharing pasta with lots of bacon, I love bacon. And later on, I realized that I enjoyed spending time with my family and my friends. Moving on, I also attended an open house slash potluck slash reunion dinner with my Miss Universe Malaysia finalists. Throughout the competition last year, I actually built such close relationships with all of them. And very, very often we'll meet up and have reunions and just you know, update each other. During this uh, potluck, we actually brought a dish each and we had a beauty queen meal. Can anyone tell me what a beauty queen meal is or what it consists of? Salad, cheese sticks, celery sticks, no meat, no fat, no chicken, no nothing, no carbs, right? But no, you know what we had? Cheesecake, chocolate cake, chicken wings, pasta, wapan ho, hokkien mee, wine, and pony yogurt drink. <laughs> that is what I call beauty cream meal! Yeah. Yeah. Oh, Terrible, I was so stuffed. Halfway throughout our meal, we actually forgot that we were supposed to toss these up. So we brought it out in the middle of the table, and all of us gathered around with our chopsticks. And we're like, okay, so this is a general rule, because we had a few Indian girls there, Okay, this is the general rule of tossing isang. We have the higher you toss, the more prosperous. And also, you start wishing for what you want during the new year, right? So, as we started, we're all yelling, Oh, health, wealth, prosperity, longevity! We're all shouting, it sounded like a bunch of hyenas, I swear! <laughs> we were so noisy, upstairs, the whole house, we, you could just hear all of us and our voices. One of my friends actually ran out of things to say halfway. And you know what she said? Whoever who wants to get married, we're all under 25. Whoever wants to get married, I hope you have a very happy marriage and uh, get four children. Uh. And I was just like, what? <laughs> I was laughing so hard. And this girl beside me, one of the tallest in the group, she was like, I want money, I want money, money. <laughs> <laughs> holding my, my mouth because it was so funny. I was laughing. You know those silent laughter? I was laughing like that. I was in Practically. And another girl, this one was terrible. She tossed it so violently, she actually lost the chopstick. <laughs> she lost the chopstick and she grabbed the side and she took it out along with the yisang. Her hand was full of yisang, my goodness. That was one of the funniest no sound moments in the 20 years of my life. On a more serious note, Last week, I actually received a phone call in the middle of the night. I was thinking, who would call me in the middle of the night? Okay, so I picked it up. It was actually my close friend. And she told me, okay, Denise, this week I'm not coming for class. I'm not coming for class? Why? Uh? Family emergency. Okay, that sounded really bad. So I was like, I was just curious. And I asked her, what kind of family emergency is everything all right? And she told me that her father has been admitted to a hospital in Slim River and he was having respiratory failure. I was very shocked, my mood just changed and you know I was having such a good, happy Chinese New Year celebration and she told me that, you know, someone's not feeling well and it's her father and I really, really felt so sad at that point. She, she, she told me more, she said that he's in the intensive care unit and he was on a breathing machine and he was having trouble having air circulated throughout his body. His lungs were not working anymore. My jaw just dropped. 
my heart sank. And I started to tear up as I held my phone to my ears and I said, I'm so sorry to hear that. Stay strong though. I, I really don't know what else to say. I just want to cheer you up, but I, I don't know how to. So just tell me what to do when you need to call me, when you need my help, when you need to just let out your feelings or scream or shout or just throw around the F words. Just call me, okay? Just call me. And the next few days, I started to check up on her. Every single night, I will check on her. And last night, I called her, actually. And I'm glad to say that he has recovered very, very well and he's being discharged today. So we all can, you know, breathe in a sigh of relief. I'm really, really happy that he's all right. Now, this Chinese New Year, it's actually a, like, very beautiful celebration celebration of New Year, right? I think that Chinese New Year is an opportunity for us all to spend more time with our loved ones. It's a time for us to actually treasure these little moments we have with our family. How often do we go back home? How often do we get to see the people we love all gathered in one spot? You know? So I'm not here to bring like you know, all joy and happiness, that's all, and then go back to my seat, leaving you like that. But I'm here to actually spark a little realization that we should treasure our loved ones. You don't know what tomorrow might bring, so treasure them today. Thank you very much.